You already know that the Mavic 3T is DJI's most advanced compact thermal drone for enterprise users. But what you probably didn't know is that this impressive ship is hiding a few tricks up its sleeve. We couldn't help noticing that several of the new features on this aircraft have not been promoted by DJI in their ads or marketing documents, so we're here today to introduce you to some of them. First up, the new Mavic 3 Enterprise Series has what DJI calls a pinpoints feature, which works a lot like the M30 and allows users to drop GPS points on the map for use in later missions or for exporting location data. Unlike the M30 series, however, the Mavic 3s do lack a laser rangefinder. What this means is when it drops a point, it drops it at the location of the aircraft as opposed to the location of the reticle in the middle of the flight screen. So it's still a welcome addition for users that need to accurately store coordinates from their flights. Just fly the drone over the location you want marked, then hit the pin drop button on the upper left of the display. As you move away, you can see that the pin is overlaid at that location on the flight screen. That point also shows up on the map display as well. Plus, this data and all the other points you drop can easily be exported into a KML file that can be read by other maps and software applications. Next, let's talk about the Zoom Link feature. Once again, this is a feature that those who have already flown an M30 series may already be familiar with. The Zoom Link feature makes switching between payloads easier by locking the field of view between the thermal and optical camera views. Of course, the resolution of the thermal view when zoomed in will be greatly reduced when compared to the optical view, but for search and rescue operations, this feature could save a lot of time and trouble by keeping targets centered across all of the cameras with the same field of view. Finally, for consumers living outside the US, DJI offers a cellular unit attachment that is compatible with the Mavic 3 Enterprise series, bringing 4G connectivity to the aircraft. We've never actually had access to one, but for those that live in regions where this tool is permitted, maintaining connection in complex environments would be a pretty cool feature. So which of these lesser known features do you think you'll find the most useful? Let us know in the comments. For any other questions on the Mavic 3 Enterprise series, reach out to us at ask at armus.com. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos on robotics and drones.